Yuki. I understand that your old wanderlust flares up from time to time. You were once an incredible adventurer, after all. I'd be lying if I said I didn't mind, but it's never wise to tether a heart. Just promise me one thing, dear. No matter where you gallivant off to, promise you'll always come back home safe and sound. I will, my love. I promise. The only place I've ever called home is here. Right here by your side. Nothing will ever change that. Most importantly of all, I never want to see you cry. Your smile brings more joy than all the treasures in the world. Oh, Randolph. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Why was it plot relevant, then, that you had to do it? Cursed mirror. What? Cursed mirror. What? Oh, so he's going to end up injured, and you have to rescue? Nope. Cursed mirror. Cursed mirror. Oh, is he going to realize that it's cursed? No, he's dead. No. Probably for evils. I don't even know Master that. Master Derek. What? Why do I have to stop working and go rest? Yes, I know I've worked several days straight now. But so have you. You're not human, then. If you aren't going to take any time off, then neither should I. How many all-nighters did you do pull in the base prep? The only reason you're still on your feet is because you're riding the high of finishing a commission. Go get some rest, take proper time off, or taking proper time off is part of an apprentice's job. If I'm still only an apprentice, yeah, oh, I'm still only an apprentice, doesn't mean I need more to do more work <laughs> to learn and improve. I can't afford to rest now. I, I want to be a master smith, just like you. I am still rejoice, rejoice under your hand. Customers always leave with a satisfied smile. And that's the kind of blackness I want to be. Don't make me stop working. Let me help you with your next project, please. Hmm. Fine. Do what you think is best. Thank you. After you take a nice long break. Why do I have to stop working? Because that's part of an apprentice's job. <laughs> I'm still an apprentice. How can I afford to take the time to rest? <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> and around and around they go. Still, it's not every day you see Mark and get all worked up. Isn't it funny that he's a workaholic? So the mirror makes people tell the truth. Okay. Which is why he told uh, her that. Yeah. And why he was talking to him the way he was. Because normally, the, 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 he's slightly more submissive to his uh, teacher. And he also has a really big problem with being obsessed with working. He does. Everyone in this game is obsessed with something. Yeah. For Fuka, it's fish. There are worse things he's obsessed with, but like, even that he can take way too far, probably. Vaporeon. A thousand humble apologies, Lady Beatrice. I don't know how I will ever atone for my grievous sin. She's just like, oh! I knew that you would partake of these meals, and yet I... I used cheap ingredients. That's what you were hiding? Day after day, I've hunted for bargains. Scouring the clearance racks and making thrifty purchases, only to cook from a cost-cutting recipe book. Though I went to great pains to make the dishes resemble those prepared by a royal chef, they were, in truth, a peasant's fare. Just the thought that I've made you consume such poor quality foodstuffs torments my very soul. Oh, come now, Reinar. You needn't let this bother you so. In fact, I enjoy your cooking more than I did any royal banquet at the castle. I always look forward to sharing meals with you. Really? That's terrifying. 
Beatrice. <laughs> I'm excited to see what other frugal yet delicious food you prepare in the future. Wow, Mario takes his job pretty darn seriously. Everyone in this town that has a job takes it way too seriously except Elsha. He doesn't take anything seriously. Except sleeping, I guess. Julian is the only one outside. Lonely child up by the water. Hello, child! Ah. Fine. But you will hold by holding your hands to the sides of it, palms up. That's also because it's not. Oh, if it was someone else's, you wouldn't. I had my palms facing down. You should have levitated under my hands. Yeah, but no, you wouldn't, because if you give it to your partners when you're in battle, you're still holding it that way, is he? I know. <laughs> you're lying to me. You're lying to me. I got you, Lisa. Whoop! Ryan, where are you going? I see you're right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Yo, weather can't seem to make us mine today. Can't say that bothers me, to be honest. I don't care too much about Uh oh. Harvest Festival tomorrow. What's summer food? Summer food. Oh, you have to finish a questionnaire. Ugh. <laughs> well, well, from spring to summer. Oh no. Corn. Yeah, but corn's only level two. Really? Well then. I'll have to use the most powerful crop of all. Let's turn up summer? Oh. Yeah, you should have a low. Hey, Cecil. Oh, yeah, you got earrings to give him. Or did you level it up all the way? I did. Hi. Oh, yeah, we already did that. Tomorrow's the Summer Harvest Festival. I'm really feeling pretty confident about it. What about you, Izzy? Hey, Izzy, let's go find a new mystery together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Oh yeah, I already gave those to you yesterday, didn't I? Um, my birthday. <laughs> you strike me as the type of person who would give other people <laughs> gifts on your birthday. Not wrong, but it's still weird. Would... Hi. Hi. Does he come with you when he says that? Uh, yeah. Oh. He, he was asking if he could join my party, and I was like, yeah, sure. We're not going on any real adventure today, but... I actually planned to, but oh, I was doing a few other things first, and... Good work today. Festival's coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow's the Summer Harvest Festival. It'd be a waste it's like a holiday to skip out on it. Oh yeah, you're going to look at what vegetables you have. Ah, yeah. You should have level 6 ones. No, I probably don't. But I have oh like no, you just got level ones. six seeds. That's right. Which level five is really good. Yeah, since what they're going to have is level one. Skeleton. Unless you're fighting in the Pokemon battle. <laughs> he unlocked Radia before the monster battle thing, and Radia has post-game monsters in her party, so he lost in like one hit. <laughs> It's a very dirty trick on behalf of the game, I feel. Oh, and also he got her in round one. So normally he, like, dominates, and that time he lost in the very first round. <laughs> the game served him some humble pie. Uh, I was sure I was going to just dominate. So happy I, get to see you today. I did not. Like I said, he was served humble pie. Uh oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I can't. I gotta take care of my shop. You're not that high of friends yet. Going on adventures with people makes them better friends with you. Yeah, but you gotta do the work first. You pass by two. There's a treasure in the ground spots from your friends. It's probably a rock. Probably. It's really sad that that's like the best items you can get from it is, like, grasses. Glass. 
can't find any treasure chests, no problems, but I see them following the power of the spirits. Uh, so it increases the quality of items you can find from them. And Link Link attacks. Link's attacks. What a specific thing. Increases how happy they are. No, it makes it. It's where I can bring people along even if they're not close enough friends yet. Oh. She's at a two. The easiest way to fix that is to go on an adventure where she's going to die the first like three or four times she fights something. And then she'll like level up 20 levels. <laughs> exactly. Well, I actually have to work today, but since it's you, Izzy, I can't say no. Up, oh, left, yeah. Ah, here it is. And what this actually means is you get to walk around and try and find door levers. I hate this dungeon. There are two dungeons Izzy genuinely hates. The one where your health is always depleting, or, well, your energy is always depleting, and the one that is the shifting maze that requires both opening and closing doors. Why did they do that? Why was that their choice? Fun. It's not. Okay, so, I pushed the green lever last time. Yep, you pushed the grabber lever, and then you gotta find the blues to open them in the right order. You guys hide the switch again? I'll punch you. Hide the switch? I didn't know they could do that. Ugh. Aid. Okay. Get over here. Oh, that feels so much better. Being able to throw again. Yeah. Oh, you have two spellcasters on your team. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just noticing you have spellcasters only. <sighs> They'll still be able to beat things up. It's not a spellcaster. Hey, you got Orikalko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have both Ludmilla and... Uh, Cecil, who are both casters. Just... And the fox is half a caster. It shoots those fireball things that sometimes are really, really annoying. Mostly because, um... You can't have them on your team while you're trying to catch a friend. Yeah, they'll just murder everything. Everything. Especially now that it's, like, the strongest thing on the team. <laughs> It looks raring and ready to go. You guys say treasure, but I don't see it. It was all like, but treasure. Yeah, they're all shouting, hey, there's treasure. It was, it was a grass in the stone somehow. Hey, it's a different golem. I like him. He's shiny. You'll have to get one. Yeah, I'll have to come back to one of those later. Take that, take that. Not very active. Oh, but he did just kill Ludmilla in one hit. Already up. Oh. Can I just ignore that treasure chest? Nice. Time to punch a boss fight. Clearly. Not punch a boss, punch a boss fight. Can you get that one? As I a don't know, but I want it. I know you like big sheeps, and that's a big sheep. Ooh, check for Aries. Aries? I like sheeps. And you like bunnies, and that's why you like woolies so much. I 
speaking of liking Wooly so much, I really want to play three. There's new version. Of this? Of three. Of Rune Factory? Yeah. yeah. In fact, for three, you play as a wear sheep. Yes, it is tameable. Try it one? You need a woolly fur ball, well, it which it must me. drop, I'm guessing. No, you have to beat up the woolly king a bunch to get woolly fur balls to tame it. You can get fur from regular wolves. No, regular woolly fur won't do. You need a lot of it. Or you could get a Starfall Strawberry and use it for a chance to get the guy. Balm Tigers are great. I'll have to get one later. You need to amass as many friends as possible. You can't cast spells. That is a prop. Do you have any rollout or whatever it's called? I will have to check. Oh, it's gone. Oh. I must have a healer with me. You well, you have a love-themed character. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Ludmilla's probably a healer. Because she has her default items, which includes no armor right now. Fair enough. Oh, Red Swick. What? It's a new floor, they're all different. It's a brick. I want it. Yes, you do. You want them in larger volumes than one, but you do want a brick. What's a brick? We want a rock. What's a rock? Everybody wants a rock? Yes. Want to fight. You know why everyone wants a rock? To tie a string around? Yeah, to tie a piece of string around. Someone in this Everybody town... went down. Someone in this town is trying to burn the foreheads down. I really have a feeling that they were on drugs. <laughs> a musician on drugs? No, what's really funny is a lot of the people who make really friggin' weird sounds like drugs kind of music are clean. Like, um, apparently the lead singer of Pink Floyd, I think it was, had didn't ever touch drugs when they were accused of being, like, a stoner band. He might have touched it later as they got more successful, I don't remember, but I do know at one point he Okay, Eyebrow Dragon. Eyebrow Dragon? That's what it's called? No! It's not called that, but oh. he was a dragon that looked like he had eyebrows. Yay. Don't you have eyebrows? Yeah, but he's not a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, in a lot of these games, reptiles and birds have boobs. See? Look at me. Eyebrow dragon. I can't tell. I don't see him. Little grimoire. Oh, what? It's a you... Hey, that dragon is a book. Mm hmm. Its name was Little Grimoire. Nice. Wait, is there a chest on the side like there Wait. has been? Wait. It's freaking out that pushing the switch. Forever. Forever. Well, this so far is straightforward. Green and lever. Forever. This is all going to be straightforward. It's just a bunch of battle rooms. I'm just punching things. I can do that. You hate punching things in games. Wait, what's on the ground over there? That's a good question. Squiggly. Honey. It's fine now. Floor honey. It's just lovely? You learned a recipe. Your fluffy scarf. Just by opening a box. I don't want this. Yes, you do. Here, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted it so bad, you saw it was there. You can have it. <laughs> Where is this door that I just opened? Did I remember to push the switch? Did you know that the developers... Oh. Fighting the mimics. <laughs> Can you tame Mimics? Yes. I just haven't yet. Why do you always have failed dishes, you Did jerks? Did they drop disastrous dishes every morning? I hope not. That'd be... Funny. Totally something the game would do. Yeah. <laughs> Which those you have to sell, because nobody likes disastrous dishes. Don't put rocks in your food. 
Why would you do that? I I mean, in China, they do have fried rocks as a meal. <laughs> they soak rocks in soy sauce, and then you, like, suck the flavoring off the rocks. Learned dish. Gyoza. So it's just eating soy sauce. Yeah. I mean, it's not just soy sauce. It's a mix of seasonings, but they put it on the rocks, Did and you, you eat, eat rock off the rocks. Afterwards? I wouldn't advise it. The whole meal. I mean, unless you have a gizzard, then maybe you can. Hey, he has a rocket punch. Whoop. The golem has a rocket punch. Nice. Automatically means it's one of Shin's favorite types of golem. Absolutely. Hey, golem. Golems. They're like robots, but for rocks. They're like golems, but Jewish. Like robots are Jewish. I mean that is actually true. You healed Cecil instead. <laughs> you need to stop throwing things or Cecil will take them. <laughs> You're right. That has happened twice. <laughs> Here, you He's like just ice cream? very good at catching things. He doesn't like ice cream. I'm going to die. Oops, the to die. I'm not the one trying to kill him. Don't tell him he'll die. He's dead. No, the wolf died. But the moment, yeah, that happens. The moment my fox turns and starts attacking him, it's so over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil really likes being given things by you. You are very good at being very in the way. All of you. Here, you're a rock. Yay! You got a friend! We got a rocket punch guy. Hmm. See, I want to just call him Golem because he looks like the Golem from Dragon Quest, but that's boring. The first one's name is Boss. Call him BB. This one's going to be Chief. Yes. C-H-I-E-F. Chef. No, Chef A is what he was writing. Yep, C H I E F. Or wait, is it C H I E F or C H E I F? Now I'm doubting myself. I E F. Yes, yeah, C H I E F. That doesn't look right. Okay. No. <laughs> Cheapus. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing a lot of it. It won't let me say it's okay. It's a bad just, word. Just, just let me say okay. It's not okay. I just threw a golem at, you know, a portal. What? Like I do. Just lift it up over your head. Hey, she just did a kip up. Hey, you just learned to make stew from this dungeon. That's where you learn how to make stew. You open treasure boxes until one tells you how to make st stew. It's true facts. So, if you're wanting to hunt anything in this uh, dungeon, come to the third floor, because it's just battles. Except that I don't think there's any murder trolls now that you're in a place where you can hunt them either. Targon, or sorry, a grimoire. <laughs> he looks like a pretty cool guy, though. He does. Oh, Why is there just a metal box in the corner here? It's not a chest, it's a metal box. It's a rock lobster. Punch. Ooh, it's got chocolate. Yeah, I'll definitely eat random dungeon box chocolate. Dungeon chocolate's the best chocolate. Adventure Learned how to good. make Annette's necklace. Who's Annette? I don't know, but I can make her necklace now. Wait. Oh, I mean, you should save. Don't forget to save often. 
We learned about that really hard in Lena's uh, Incep Inception. Yeah, don't forget to save. Did oh, you hear that story? No, but autosave should be a thing. In Lena's Inception, we played through it twice, all the way to the end, and had to start over because we forgot to save. At all? Yeah. From the very start of the game, he never saved. It's a short game. Uh, no, it took us an entire day each time. Damn. <laughs> I feel Why'd like you bother it? I mean, you had it recorded. Why'd you need to play it through again? To right. get the good ending. The giant spell circle must be close. I mean, though, the first time we did save, we got the bad ending. Yeah. Uh, then we went through it with, uh, and didn't save in... The second time as a team. Yeah. This guy's cute too. Yeah. Ad I cannot pronounce that. Adu. Adumbla. Adumbadum. Quetzalcoatl. We can't actually get the Quetzalcoatl. It will not let it happen. It's so sad because it's very pretty. There's a goat. Adumbla. What do you mean? Can I'm be sad. tamed. So you definitely can tame Undulates in this game, unless they are a giant woolly. And we don't even know why. You have to have the giant woolly. It's sad, and it's bad. Oh, you got bucked. Ow. Everybody needs a rune goat in oh. the Oh, it killed you. I told you to save. You can go back. How much does that cost me? Uh, you're not at your full money right now. 4,700. Oh! Fine. Under no conditions, I would refuse. But that was over half my money. About time you showed up. Does it increase every time you die? I think so. That's not nice. That's dumb. And it's based on a percentage uh, of your current income. Yeah. It's just, that was just mean. But he silenced me, so I couldn't heal anymore. Mm. Could eat food. And you did not give it all to the golem. Not again. Oh, she died. There we go. <laughs> you only had to open the Windows taskbar to do it. She's dead. I gotta get close to it. Give hug. It is never in danger, it seems. How would you endanger that? Get up! By being a Bigger. dangerous stag that's twice its size? No, not enough. It used to be that big, right? No. Oh. Never was. When you do a team attack, um, you get the same weapon that they have. Yep. I can't even you well I can't do stuff. I can do stuff very well. I'm a very good mage. But I wouldn't use a stuff. <laughs> Mostly because of the fact that you heal all the time. I do. I heal all the time. Hey, where'd she come from? The buzz in the air. No, oh, that's me. Oh. The buzzing in the air. The smell of runes beneath my feet. A sinister aura. No doubt about it. We're getting close. I didn't bring you. In the story, Boy. you did, but she hasn't been around for a long time. Just as I thought. Here it is. Looks like we're alone. Let's erase the circle while we can. Oh, yeah, no, it's not trapped at all. Right. <clears throat> I don't think so. It is. Not to dare. Where? Whoa! Look, over there. Over there! 
My plans are coming to fruition. I won't let you stand in my way. Oh no, he has hair. Indeed. Radia, it's wonderful to see you again. To complete my final justice, I need your power once more. You've got a lot of nerve after everything you made me do. I didn't have to voice act. She can talk? I'll never forgive you. That's well, exactly well. what he wanted. Oh, her name changes. That's yeah, Umbrady is the full version of her name. Just like Livia is short for. Magnificent. I don't even remember how to say it. Striking. Oh yeah, striking down an ancient dragon in one blow. Blah, blah, blah. Don't touch her. Ow. You dodged it, you idiot. He's Vegeta. But he's like early Vegeta. He's like Shadow Vegeta. Oh. Oh. So this is the limit. What are you gonna do to her? I can still use her. Wait. I asked you a question, you dummy. I'm impressed that you can still move while the dragon god of shadows fell so easily. Hmm. I expect nothing less from an earth mate. I thought you said you were surprised. Looking back on it now, you prove yourself quite the nuisance. I should have finished you all this. I should have finished all this at the. Liminality. Liminality. Huh? Yeah. What? But no matter. It ends here. <laughs> Did you know that? You can't stop him. Oh. No, wait. You are powerless. Did you know that you're powerless too? I have punched lots of things. Way too many things to be powerless. Uh... Couldn't do anything. Plot because power. the plot wouldn't let you. Radio. Charged in like a buffoon and got punched. Now what are you gonna do with all your with jam? Magic. Now you gotta go back to Livia and say that her sister's been kidnapped again. Yeah. Not looking forward to that conversation. The power of stairs. You told you. Told you about stairs, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Oh, welcome back, Izzy. Squiggle. Yes. From your face, I take it you don't have good news. Yes. Afraid not. What was that? So she took Radia? I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mm. Mm. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. And the Warden of Seed is beyond absolution. Oh. <laughs> Wordplay. Yeah. Even in the middle of grim stories. It seems our worst fear is coming to pass. Um. The end of the world? Right. Yes. God damn it, why does he want to destroy the world? Gideon said he had yet to complete his final justice. However he's plotting, he still needs Radia to do it. Honestly. That fool. Please. He has no idea what kind of terrifying force he's contracted. Huh? Or contacted. What do you mean? Who is he? A long time ago, from the abyss that birthed this world, a shadow crept forth. Wherever it went, that squirming, slithering nightmare left corrupted runes in its wake. This creeping darkness thus attempted to consume the entire world. Radia and I were still immature. We could not stop it alone. So we had to seal it. We joined voices with the Earthmates and sealed it away in Wait, another plane. Earthmate will be able to destroy it, probably. It was our only choice. Is that so? Even with your forces combined. 
This thing was stronger than the ancient dragons and the Earthmates. Yes. Yes. We called it the Fathomless Dread. The Fathomless Dread? It'll cure? Um... Gordon Gideon set it free? Not quite. Not yet, but he's trying to. Said he meant to see his plan realized at the liminality, right? Yes. Right. Right. Now, I understand what he meant. You're not telling me to go back to Altel's end, are you? Yep. Back in that hellish place, he wanted to trigger a runic explosion in radio. One that would shatter the seal to the other plane. <sighs> Up until that point, he has used radio to transmit countless runes across the liminal barrier. That means he was using the giant spell circle to provide power to the fathomless dread. Yes. Yes, I believe so. That abomination has truly regained a considerable amount of power already. Jeez. If it granted Gideon even a fraction of its strength from across the void, then the worst is yet to come. No mistaking it. By recovering all the power it has lost, it could break the seal from the other side. I get it now. So that's how Gideon's playing to use radio. Yeah. 